You know, a lot of people out there are talking about renting real estate, making money through real estate, but billboards, you've got no tenants, no headaches, no issues other than renting out the billboard. And once your billboard is rented, it's virtually 100% passive income. And you can get started in the billboard industry with nothing but a phone and some time and initiative. And I'd never thought about billboards before. And uh, when I looked at it, I was quite impressed by that business. Let's take a look. So we just invested in another piece of land this month. This one is 60 acres inside. It's just outside the city limits. The lot starts right at the end of a subdivision. It passes over the highway. Then it has about 50 more acres on the other side of the highway. So once again, we only buy properties for cash that are quite a bit under market value and we're in no hurry to buy. Now, a few interesting things about this property, it's just off a highway and it gets a fair amount of traffic. It's right in the path of a future proposed highway expansion. So in the future, the government may ask us to sell some of this land. And it also has existing encumbrances, as they're called, with the hydro company. As you can see, it has these hydro poles that run through the first part of the lot. So obviously the uses are limited right here where the hydro poles are in this section. Not great for a development or for immediate resale unless we severed it and sold off lots individually. But it does get traffic and potentially a lot more traffic if they build that big expansion that they have planned. So I thought to myself, with the traffic here, what about billboards? And I had no idea about this business before, never thought about it, but there is a ton of information that's available online if you really start looking into it. And the more you look, the better it looks. So what a great business. You find a spot, you build a billboard, you contact a company, and you lease the space on that billboard. And once it's up, it's pretty much passive income every single month. You're going to make your money. You don't have any tenants. You don't have any headaches. One of those feet up on the desk while the money rolls in kind of businesses. Now, in my research, I came across a billboard guru, if you will. His name's Frank Rolf. Somewhat controversial guy, but he's got a ton of great information online about billboards. Now, Rolf started out in billboards right after he graduated Stanford, and eventually he became the largest private owner of billboards in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Ultimately, he ended up selling his business to Clear Channel for $5.8 million. Now, in addition to leasing billboards, he'd occasionally just flip a billboard. So he'd find a space and he'd just flip it without doing anything else to a bigger company. He'd make a few thousand dollars just for finding that location. Now, obviously it takes some research, but if you just flipped the same way that he did it, you would not even need money to set up or build your billboard, which isn't that much money to begin with. So how does the business work? We'll give you a very basic overview today. So you find a spot that would be good for a billboard. That's the first. Now the criteria for a good spot is number one, a high traffic road, and a number two, large volume of potential advertisers that are in the area. So a decent amount of businesses in that area who would want to advertise. And you're probably already familiar with the types of businesses that are advertising on billboards just from in your territory. Now, number three, the billboard should have reasonable rents and high advertising rates. We're going to show you how to determine that in a minute. Number four, it needs to be legal, of course, to set up a billboard. Now, city ordinances, they can often prohibit setting up new billboards. Now, there's usually both state and city laws that are in place. So check your state law first. That's usually the highway department. It's good to go uh, check city hall at that point and uh, make sure that they allow for building of new billboards. Now, once you have your proposed spot, you need to determine the traffic count. Now, according to Frank Rolf, you're looking at at least 5,000 vehicles per, per day on a non-highway, 20,000 per day on a highway. Of course, more is better. Now, usually the city is going to have that data. You'll need that data to sell your space to these companies. Now, to find out how much companies are selling, how much they're charging, just call the billboard company in the area. And those numbers are usually right on the billboard. If you look, there's usually the name and number of the company. Call them and ask how much they would pay you 
for a billboard. They're going to tell you the rate. Then call again, you know, use a different phone, put on a different voice and ask them how much for you to advertise on a billboard. Now you know the difference between the buy rate and the sell rate and the margins in between what they're paying for the spot and how much they are making. Now, if you own the land like we do, it's a no brainer. It's 100% margin, 100% profit every month. But if you have to pay someone to lease that spot, you need to figure out how much you'll pay to the owner of that spot and how much you're going to keep every month just for brokering this deal and you're going to keep the margins in between. So that's it. You find a spot, you research the area, you determine the rates and you put together a sales kit for local businesses and sell spaces on these billboards. Now, some people might say, oh, billboards are dead because of the internet. Absolutely not true. The internet is only good when people know what it is they're searching for. A billboard gets to people before they start to search and the same as direct marketing and direct mail. Plus, you can integrate your website, obviously, into a billboard and make it a whole discovery process through the internet. Now, there's a book that's out there called Big Bucks from Big Signs. It's written by Frank Rolfe on how he built the $6 million business in billboards. And it covers exactly what's involved in great detail, step by step. Now, he charges $75 for this book. But when I searched for it, and I searched Big Bucks from Big Signs PDF, his book actually came up for free. It was not behind a paywall. So not sure if it was intentioned on his part or not. And I don't want to cause any issues for him. But uh, if so, he should secure that book behind a paywall. Anyway, it's a great book for step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on starting a billboard business, what you need to do and how to get started. Now, before we wrap up, I wanted to cover another similar type of industry in the advertising business that I guarantee is going to make a lot of millionaires. Now remember in science fiction movies, if you're a fan, you always see those 3D signs in the dystopian future city landscapes, right? All these signs that are flickering, beckoning people to come in and the big corporations all have these 3D signs. Well, the future is here. Uh, these 3D signs are starting to pop up in places and anyone who walks into a business with one of these things, puts the company name down, plugs it in, is going to make a sale. I can guarantee it. Major chains are going to be buying these. Local businesses are going to be buying these. This is a game changer in the business. You're going to be seeing these things absolutely everywhere. Now, you can put the current sale items on this, the hamburger special, uh, the company logo, anything that you want. And customers obviously love this stuff. Everyone talks about it, puts everyone in a good mood. Now, as a investor, as a potential business, you can source these from China very inexpensively, import them, sell them at a 40% or more margin. Somebody's going to capitalize on this business. Somebody's going to make a lot of money in this business. Why is it not going to be you? Like and subscribe to this channel and also our new channel. We're going to be featuring a lot more success tips and that link is right here above. Thanks for watching.